Well, our next guest says in the current economic slowdown, innovation is one of the big keys to keeping U.S. manufacturing and U.S. business competitive. We're joined now by the president of Stevens Institute of Technology, Hal Ravishe, who joins us now. Ravishe, excuse me about that, Hal. I apologize. No problem, Brian. Still worked up about the bonus story here. <laughs> uh, we need to protect this, right? I mean, the one thing that we've got left in manufacturing, correct, is intellectual property and is ideas. Are those at risk? We need to keep the crown jewels at home. That means that we manufacture the value-added components and outsource only the commodity components. We can do that paying $30 an hour with health care benefits and retirement if we apply innovation to every what does that step. Mean? What does that, detail that okay, A lot of people would like to be able to do that. Okay, design, part selection, material selection, life cycle management, energy, energy utilization, all the business processes, every single one, take a few percentage points down uh, with innovation and you can sell a product high quality at a price the world will pay for. It's a big risk, too, because China, I mean, they used to manufacture, you know, and they still do, you know, T-shirts, textiles, basic goods. Now they're making airplanes. Yes. Now, now they're making cars. Even the Washington are, are, Post, today's feature story, one of them, the productivity in Japan fell 9.6%. They're getting the connection between manufacturing and the healthy economy. And, Mr. President, they're talking about shameful developments. The vice president, you want to have a shameful development related to this? It's the quality of K-12 education. You improve that, you improve our labor force for manufacturing, and you tackle another shameful development no one's talking about. We have the highest incarceration in the world. Mr. President, a shameful development. Tackle K-12. You're talking about a turnaround that would take decades. No. No, in a How few long? years, in a few years. Invest money in partnerships for universities to focus on R&D for manufacturing excellence. Have the president get out and say, we are developing a national strategy for manufacturing. Have the universities get off the bandwagon of chasing but, trends and but fads. But all those people that went into finance when they went to college and graduate school, they were financial engineers, now they're going to be engineers. So to what extent is this going to happen on its own? Well, we have a good base of engineering education in the United States. It has to be refocused to the fundamentals, to basics. Get away from the trends, focus on the basics. You know, it's interesting you mentioned K through 12, and a lot of the, CEO, John Chambers, and I kind of reference Cisco in a backhanded way, uh, is a big proponent of this as well. If you read Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers, one of his, his new book, he talks about the difference in test scores amongst kids who study over the summer and those who don't, and that's where we get the big gap. What about something like an all year round school year? I, in California, I went to an experimental school that had all year round school. Right. There are two key you issues. You didn't have the big gap in Two learning. core issues. One, that the people who are teaching math and science often are not trained in the subjects. We need more in service teacher training using the web. Fewer lawyers, more engineers. Well, more qualified science and math teachers in K-12. My science teacher in middle school was a gym teacher. Okay, so to my point, use the web to provide yeah, I know. more in-service teacher training. <laughs> Second point, our teachers have spending too much time on administration. Let them really focus on the basics. Hal, one last thing, though. The way that you describe what you want to see in terms of manufacturing jobs, it sounds like union jobs. No, you no, 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 no. The, let's separate problems like the unions, right, from what is our core mission here. Get a product out that people want to buy at a price they want to pay for and pay good wages. It can all be done. 